went to a small liberal arts school. I knew I wanted to study math, double major in math and biology, but then I started to take a couple computer science classes here and there. I had this wonderful professor who asked me if I wanted to get into research outside of the classroom, doing some population modeling for disease spreading through a hospital. My favorite part about research is talking to other people and hearing their ideas, knowing that we might not know the answer and that's okay, and being wrong is okay as well. I was very interested in biostatistics. Statistics are amazing. Statistics are actually what drives new machine learning and things like this today. Ultimately, I just found that biomedical informatics were just a little bit more interesting to me. So I wanted to learn how to code. I kind of reached the end of college and I felt like I hadn't learned everything I wanted to in order to really pursue the career that I wanted. So I ended up at Yale in their computational biology and bioinformatics program. It's actually very unique because uh, we had five women entering as our class. We were very excited. So we do three rotations at Yale. It gives you the experience of working on your own, um, having lab meetings, understanding what the dynamics are in the lab, understanding what your responsibilities would be, what your future projects can turn into. Some of the courses I took my first year at Yale were coding in C, which is something I've never done before and really taught me how to become a much better programmer. I also took genomics, some physics classes, some dynamical systems. And I had this very unique project to use biophysics to understand melanoma development from a pathology and dermatology perspective. I developed some software for image analysis. I also did some molecular dynamic simulations. I touched some genomics, so a lot of days were spent heads down in my computer actually coding. And then outside of that, I had a lot of collaborative meetings because I was working with a lot of MD-PhDs. But it was really good for me to sit and talk to them or be present for the experiments. So we can kind of develop together what is gonna be the best kind of data to get in order for us to analyze on the back end. I remember the first time presenting this at a conference and having people ask me questions and every, there was just so much energy in the room. I felt like I had done something that people thought was interesting. There were a couple of components to my project. One was building a computational model, a physics-based model, to study the different shapes of cells inside of tissue based on different mechanical properties. And we're able to actually capture the different shapes of cells inside of the tumor. Every PhD is different and it's kind of one of those degrees that you don't really know how it's going to go. You kind of build your own path, you learn to become very independent. The great thing about biomedical informatics is it really gives you these tools that are immediately transferable to the real world. And coding is such a great thing. If you have access to a computer and you know how to code, you can make a lot of change in this world. I started working at Boston Consulting Group. I'm a senior data scientist there. I am focusing on healthcare, still helping to transform the healthcare world just from a very different perspective.